Hi everyone, Michelle from Explorers here. I'm going to show you version 9, which is currently in beta, but here are the main features. Up here, we have a new icon. This is how you get to your folders. Tap to go into it, and all your folders are here. This section here, we have created groups. This is a new feature. If you want to create a group, you go up to this symbol at the top. Can you see my finger here? Brings up here. Now, you can only make a group if you are going to put in existing folders. So you just tap on the folder that you want to go into the group. You write the group name here, hit the tick, and there you have the new test group. And in the group is the folder that I already had. Really simple. To close the folders, press the cross. This search icon works differently to how it used to. Tap it. Now you can go straight into places, treks, track logs. Here will default to places in your search. And if you want to search for something like Brisbane, just type it in. And there's your search results. And it carries across. You don't have to type again if you're looking for Brisbane treks and Brisbane track logs that are in your account. One of the really cool things I want to show you in this new version though is the ability to do filters on your personal items to get to them really quickly whether it's in a list or on the map. So here in your list it's highlighted what we're searching for. I tapped that sorry. All places but if I tap on that all places I can change what I'm filtering. So this is new. We used to only show filters for Explorers, all these things. But now what we can do is actually say, I only want to look in personal. So I apply that filter. And now what I'm going to search for, I'm just going to say something beginning with L because I know I have things in L and the thing I want is that. Like anything off a list, you tap it or you swipe left. If you swipe left, you can see different controls delete if it's your own, edit for anything, add to a folder and your navigate button. Otherwise just tap it and you go to the split screen with the mini map on one side and the information on the other side. On a widescreen device like this head unit the split screen will lay out this way. If you're on a phone it will do it the other way with the map at the top and the information at the bottom. So there are two of the new features in version 9. There are many other features. This over here, for example, if you can see, is the speed limit for the road that we are currently on. The other thing that it will show you is the name of the road that you are currently on and any path or crossroad, whatever you're, you're at. So here, even though we can't see the road name on the map, the system is showing you the road name up here. So the handy thing about this is if you are a person that tends to travel with the map zoomed out, you will still be able to see without having to touch the map to zoom it, your position based as um, road or track names. So that's a really good feature there as well. Just back on this speed limit, if you're driving along and you exceed the speed limit, this will start just softly pulsing, no audible signal, but just a pulse. We'll get a road name at the crosshairs position when you are not at your current location for GPS lock. So I'm going to put that back to where I really am. When you're where you really are, it's going to give you the road name of your position. I'm actually going to do a route plan. I'm going to very quickly look for a place and what am I going to look for? I'm going to look for the suburb that I want to go to right now. Type that in. And I'm going to navigate to this place. So click the green route icon. I'm up here at Banksia Grove. I'm going to go to Hillary's Primary School. I'm going to press begin navigation. So that's just as usual. Nothing's different here at this point. Um, it shows me the two routes, the blue, which is normally the shortest and the quickest, and the purple. 
and um, which is an alternate route. I'm actually going to go the blue route. I want to get back to that area quite quickly, so I'm selecting blue. Nothing's changed Begin there. Navigation, destination Hillary's Primary School. Drive what? south on Jubilup mm -hmm. Drive 85 359. Drive south on Joondalup Drive, 85, then enter the roundabout and take the second exit onto Joondalup Drive. Okay. If you didn't know, you can just tap those messages and they go away. What has changed? This colour used to be yellow and it used to go over the top of the road. Now, one of the problems with that is particularly when you're on off-road areas, you couldn't read the road name. You couldn't see whether the road was sealed or unsealed. And if you wanted to tap any other places along the way, um, the layering sort of got a bit skew if because the route line uh, was over the top. What we can do now is we can see through that line. Um, it's got some transparency, so I can see that that is a sealed road and I, I can still open up various um, markers along the way if that interests me. So I'm gonna head off. I'm just gonna put my um, GPS lock on and I'm going to head to that spot so I've already asked it all I've got to do is start driving and it will begin as usual all right current leg color is a new feature that you can change the color of it as I said formerly this used to be a fixed color it was always a uh, yellow um, we've now changed that color to be cyan blue so depending on what color the road is underneath in this case it's a solid red line the blue is slightly transparent over the top of the red and that's why it's got a little bit of a purpley hue but in doing so it means that you can read everything you can see whether it's a sealed or unsealed road because of that transparency now in different situations you may find it better to change that color so in version 9 we've allowed you to change in settings the color of the current leg and also the next leg so this is a setting you can go into over here go to settings go to navigation and here it is current leg color and you can choose a color next leg color calculation color and calculation color too now those cal calculation colors are for when you're doing the auto routing of what's what is um, what you accept on the screen when you're actually driving along of what you see on the screen is the current leg color and the current next color did you see what just happened there suddenly the screen changed color that just happens to be a fluke it is now sunset and programmed into the app is the knowledge of what time is sunset for where you are and we've got the head unit here set up so that by default and this is a setting you can use it will switch to dark mode obviously when you're driving um, that helps you reduce the glare but if you're at home um, on your tablet or your phone you may want to turn off that setting that dark mode setting so all of a sudden my map colors have all inverted so my current position here my road um, so I'm just doing some testing at the moment because this is a beta test and these are the sorts of things we need to look at um, if you want to go into settings go to general and then you can see dark mode I've got dark mode whoops no not theme the dark mode auto is what is on currently that's why it, it changed without me asking it to you can turn it off or you can uh, turn dark mode on so if I turned that off everything goes back to the bright color and we go back to the normal colored screen so dark mode is a setting it's not new that's always been there that just happened to be a fluke while I was filming this um, it happened so I had to mention it otherwise I'd have to reshoot my video oh here's another thing here's our current location this straight line over here that's not random that is actually navigating to Hillary's primary school in a straight line it's telling me where is my end destination or the next leg of my navigation plan that we're navigating to however the auto routing obviously I, I can't just drive over the cross cross country I'm going on a road so I'm following the road which is highlighted because we've got a navigation plan set up but this just lets you know that that's the heading of the direction that you're heading to your end thing so that you don't have to have the map zoomed all the way out there to see your end destination if I wanted to you'll see it's all the way over here but 
I want to be able to see all the detail on the road. That's just letting me know where, where the navigation here is sending me to.